Hello and welcome to my new video. This is uh, a track called Let There Be Light. It's on the album The Songs of Distant Earth. And uh, I'd like to explain to you some of the images and how they were achieved. Now, first of all, there was some live action which was filmed in Miami in Florida. Uh, these are these kind of images, beach scenes which you see here. And then these kind of images, as the stingray and the, the kind of dragons, were entirely generated by computer using three-dimensional software. And later on, these two kinds of images, the live action and the computerized, were composited together um, in an edit suite uh, in London. Now, the film was made, directed by Howard Greenall, and uh, cost approximately $200,000 to make. Howard Greenall was my first choice of director because I very much liked his previous video, which was for the Pet Shop Boys, and it was called Liberation. And uh, this video used the same kind of techniques as I've used in this one, except with that one it was entirely computer generated. This is a mixture of live and computer. Um, I wasn't totally involved in the whole production because uh, this whole idea of computer animation and interactive um, music is completely new and I wanted to learn to work with the best people that I could find in order to learn the kind of techniques that they used. Now, um, the only time I appear in the video is uh, a little bit later on where you see a strange kind of textured model, almost like a statue of my head. Now, in order to achieve that, um, I went into a special studio. You can just about see it coming up here. Yeah, this is actually a model of my face there. I sat there and um, this laser scanner went round my head in 360 degrees and actually mapped out all the, all the mathematical coordinates of my face. And uh, this model was later on taken into the computer and the textures were applied to it. You can basically take a model and apply any texture you want, uh, including transparent glass, metal, gold, wood, whatever you like. Um, I also have a great affinity for Red Indians, which is why we used uh, uh, the Red Indian in that scene. Now the fire here is also computer generated. We have programs where uh, you can ask objects to emit fire, you can ask them to emit steam, smoke, uh, even water droplets, uh, rain, this kind of thing. So we're, we're really getting to a stage where we're able to recreate to a very convincing degree the exterior world. And this is something which I want to get much more involved with in the future. Now, um, I just want to explain to you the, um, <clears throat> the storyline of this film. Um, well, basically, uh, the idea is that um, in a normal day in, in uh, Miami, Florida, uh, suddenly there is, um, if you like, the uh, imagination of, of the humankind uh, becomes very powerful and people are able to create their demons or their devils or their angels and, and these kind of imaginary beings which exist only in their, in their sleep come alive and hence you see these strange uh, creatures, dragons, and angels, and all kinds of things. Um, I'm very much excited by this whole new development, uh, being able to create worlds which seem totally realistic, and I intend to do a lot more of it in the future. So um, I'll say goodbye to you now, and thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much.